Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. Hey, Skip, you know what I think Danielle is ready for? What's that? Well, Danielle has a really nice two-handed topspin backhand. Yes. But I think a good option for her would be to learn the one-handed slice. If you watch the pros, even most of them that's got a two-hand topspin backhand, they have a one-handed slice. So, I don't know. You think you're up for that challenge? Oh, listen. Whenever you say the word slice, it reminds me of when I was a boy growing up in the slow clay courts of Paraguay. You grew up in Paraguay. Well, not really, but it sounded kind of cool. I love to watch those guys those slice back in uh, on that red clay, man. It is awesome. And I got a cool tip. I call it Kung Fu Slicing. Well, we're going to have Danielle, you know, the martial artists, they, they get the block of wood and they just go right through it. Well, what we're going to have Danielle do is we're going to get a table out here and she's going to clear the table for a beautiful, nice, long slice back in. Ooh, Kung Fu. I like it already. Well, let's get to it. You got it. Okay, Danielle, you ready to learn a slice backhand? I'm ready. Have you seen the slice backhand before? I have. I have. I'm actually I'm excited to learn it because it, it seems like it would be a good powerful shot because it stays low and it's hard to return. It does stay low. Yeah. In fact, when you're out there on the court and you can hit a slice backhand, it really throws the rhythm off quite often of your opponent. Right. Yeah. So we're going to teach you today how to hit that slice backhand and they'll say, that Danielle is something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So what we here want we to do when we hit a slice backhand is we want to get a lot of length and a lot of drive on our backhand. So one of the best things you can do, I call this the clearing the table, right? It's kind of okay. it's kind of like a, almost a martial arts move. You know when they go to, you know, break through all the wood? Sure. That's what I want you to do. We're going to clear all the balls. Okay. So the idea, what I'm doing, I'm a lefty, I would be coming and hitting and going and clearing through each one so I'm staying in the hitting zone for okay. a long time. So what I want you to do is try and clear the table. Let's see it. Okay, the racket should go back on the backswing just around your shoulders. Let's try that one time. Okay. Provided that you're using continental. a continental and a one-handed backhand, which is right. what you're doing today. Okay, as we come through the stroke, as the ball approaches you, you'll make contact about six inches in front of your right foot, mm -hmm. provided that you're a right-handed player, which you are. Yeah. As we make contact, just like Pete said, we're going to clear the table. Right. When I saw all those tennis balls flying off of that table, it reminded me of clearing the table at one of my family reunions. <laughs> Dishes everywhere. Totally different stuff. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Back. Relaxed hand, contact point. Oh, very nice. Uh, here we go. Well, that's just fantastic. It's hard to believe that Danielle has only been hitting a slice backhand for essentially one day. I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to get better and better in about a month. We're going to check back in on you and see how you're doing. I love it. Hey. All right. And pretty soon, you'll be hitting slice backhands on the red clay courts of Paraguay. And then I'll go like this. That's exactly right. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Skip, I got to say, I'm very, very happy with Danielle's performance today. I mean, that slice backhand looked beautiful, did it not? Uh, I got to tell you, you got to give the credit to Danielle. She picked it up very quickly. It's one of the hardest shots in tennis, so it's one of these balls you have to really be patient on. And when you see Danielle get that racket back early and a nice, relaxed grip on it and extend right through the ball, man, I tell you what, it's looking really, really good. And I think what we should do is... In a month, we're going to come back and take a look at our progress because it is something that she's going to be developing over the next several months. But we'll check, we'll check her out next month. Okay, that sounds good. So we'll be back next week with a tennis tip from Pete and Skip. Take care.